case, we have three detained suspected smugglers, and we have over a ton of cocaine with an estimated wholesale value, that's not street value, but wholesale value of $27 million. We've kept that from reaching our streets because of the close working relationship between the Coast Guard and interagency partners that make up Joint Interagency Task Force South, and that's a component in U.S. Southern Command under the leadership of General Kelly. While this particular drug seizure is an example of the effectiveness of our interagency partnerships, our collective focus remains on preventing the harm that illicit drugs bring to our communities. So far this fiscal year, the Coast Guard has seized over 35,000 pounds of cocaine in the Caribbean on over 30 different seizures. I'm pretty proud of that. And I'm proud of the crew of the Coast Guard Cutter Gallatin. They're still out on patrol today. And this interdiction is a testament to their hard work and tenacity. The Gallatin is one of our older ships. She started work in 1968. So she's about 45 years old. And I had the privilege of sailing on her in 1977 when I was a cadet at the Coast Guard Academy. She's near the end of her life. We're trying to replace her with some new national security cutters. Uh, but this is what we need to keep this joint effort to fight illicit trafficking going. Our ships like the Coast Guard Cutter Gallatin. It's a huge team effort. Uh, all of our partners in the Caribbean, uh, as well obviously as the Coast Guard, the United States Navy, Drug Enforcement, uh, ICE Border Control, the United States government, prevents this malign material from coming into the United States. The most efficient place to get it is by the ton down here in the Caribbean. Operation Martillo, now almost 15 months old, has taken off the market. Before it gets ashore, it gets into the United States. It's taken off the market over 200 tons of cocaine as represented here. Um, once it gets ashore, it's basically on its way without much to slow it down into the United States. So as I say, the place to get it by the ton, or the multiple tons, is down here in the Caribbean before it ever gets ashore. And again, I need to tell you, Bill, you and your people are just on the forefront of this. Uh, and I'm delighted to see the folks from the Drug Enforcement Agency here. They're the, they're the heroes in this. And I would just like to thank you and give you the greatest compliment.